Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me for another five good minutes of the Word. I'm Barry Bryson, and we're continuing our study of Psalm 119. We're up to the letter Teth, uh, which is one of the two T's in the Hebrew alphabet. The Hebrew alphabet ends with the letter T, Tov. Um, but this is um, uh, a different T. Uh, and we're, I'm not exactly sure in terms of ancient Hebrew, how the pronunciation was that different. Um, but anyway, but I'm sure that it was, thus the need for the two letters. We're in verses 65 through 72, and each uh, verse, of course, begins with that letter. Um, he asked in the last section that the Lord teach him stat his statutes. He looked in the world, and he saw the world full of God's chesed, of God's covenant loyalty. Um, of God keeping his promises to his people, keeping his covenants. And so he asks for deeper understanding. And then he gets it to show the way these sections interlock uh, in, in the next section, um, because the next section is a theodicy, like the book of Job is a theodicy, like the book of Ruth is a theodicy, like so many other passages, especially in the wisdom literature, are theodicies. It, it is a a defense of, a statement of, a declaration of God's own righteousness. That whatever God does is righteous because he is God. God is right in what he does. And a realization on this young man's part that his afflictions are making him a better person. That the afflictions themselves are answering his prayer to learn the statutes of God. It's such a wonderful section and a pivotal section here in the heart of of this magnificent, massive, and yet intimate and personal song. So let's read verses 65 through 72. You have dealt well with your servant, O Lord, according to your word. Teach me good discernment and knowledge, for I believe in your commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. You are good and do good. Teach me your statutes. The arrogant have forged a lie against me. With all my heart, I will observe your precepts. Their heart is covered with fat, but I lie in your law. It is good for me that I was afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. The law of your mouth is better to me than thousands of gold and silver pieces. In this section, we only have five words, uh, vocabulary words of the seven in the psalm used for law. We have word, command, statute, precept, and law. But every verse contains one of those words. Um, and I hope you saw the wisdom, that this is a wisdom section. That's why this psalm, among other things, is a wisdom psalm. And it is particularly a theodicy, because in the very middle of this section, we have the statement to God, you are good and you do good. Whatever's happened to me that you've allowed to happen or caused to happen has been right because I'm better for it. You are good and you do good. Uh, there's just so much here. He, he still needs to learn, and he understands that he still needs to learn. But his lack of... Um, Understanding is not a lack of faith. I believe in your commandments. The importance of faith in verse 66. Again, a bit of a New Testament sensibility in this Old Testament young man. Um, you know, th there is th th the fact that he's still under duress. He has not been relieved of the difficulties, but he sees the good he's getting out of them. The arrogant have forged a lie against me. That's probably more difficult than being wrapped up in cords, the way he described in the last section. To, to have a lie told about you and a lie believed about you. Um, and yet, with all my heart, I'll observe your precepts. He contrasts his heart with their heart. Their heart is covered in fat. I know that in, with our 21st century um, sensibility, we want to see that as him saying, their heart is flabby, my heart is strong. But that's not what he's really saying at all. To be covered in fat, uh, that means that they're experiencing wealth and abundance. 
that they are living in luxury and enjoying that luxury. But I have a different luxury. I have a different wealth. Their heart is covered in fat, but I delight in your law. And then just the wisdom of verse 71. It is good for me that I was afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. How many of us ever reach that level of understanding, wisdom, patience, uh, thanksgiving uh, with God? And then as he will continue to say, I've, this is precious to me. This is, it, it, you know, later on he'll say, this is as sweet in my mouth as honey. And here he says, the law of your mouth is better to me than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Well, thank you for joining me for another five good minutes with the word. Next time we're up to um, the uh, letter Yod, which is the first uh, letter in God's name. And, uh, and we'll begin with verse 73. Thank you for joining me.